Today we're gonna go over how to feel it when doing a hip thruster. So if we're doing a hip thruster, what do I mean by if we're not feeling it? Well, I know when I first started doing hip thrusters, I was feeling it in my knees and then also in my low back and not necessarily my glutes. Now I will tell you, if, even if you're not feeling it in your glutes, you're still activating your glute muscles. But I know we want that mind-body connection with activating those glutes. That is super important. So what we're gonna do is bring it back a notch. We're gonna take it back to basics and we're gonna start with glute bridges. So this is what we can do. Start with glute bridges. And when we're doing a glute bridge, what we're going to do is make sure our toes are pointed forward. We're gonna wrap a band around our knee. We're going to tuck our hips under just like we would do a hip thruster. And then we're gonna focus on squeezing the glute at the top. You can even give it a little tap tap for more of a mind body connection, mind muscle connection. And we're gonna lower it down, fix our pelvis again. That's gonna take the pressure off the low back, come up, tap the glutes, relax and come back down. This is going to be a great start to activating those glutes and getting that mind muscle connection and then you can literally transfer over with no weight on a hip thruster, tuck the hips under, have the band above the knee that's pushing and activating the glutes, and now we can do a hip thruster, feeling those glutes activate more, taking the pressure off the low back and the knees. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know, drop it in the comments. If you wanna join some amazing programming, please contact me or head to my website.